So today we are going to draw the lab exercise MCT 201 lab exercise LE 3.1. And the question is draw the sectional view of oh, sectional view for the following assembly and show the mentioned fastener. OK, so there is a one block on the block. There are two L angles, L safe angles. And these are fixed by a M14 hexagonal, hexagonal head cap screw here and another screw here. And two plates are joined with some shaft or maybe wood or maybe gap by 32. That is, it is not mentioned here. So we'll assume this has wood or something, or this is another part. And it is joined by using a stud with a washer, two washers and not here so <clears throat> before that now here the dimensions are given m16 so dimensions are given m16 and m14 so we need to find last in last lab weeks we we did that how to find the calculations. So these are the calculations uh, to draw the nut and bolt in lab last exercise 2.3. We study that. If it is a M16, so M16 means the major diameter is 16 and minor diameter is small d, capital D. We need to calculate by this so using this formula, minor diameter 0.85 d and major diameter 16 and w 1.5 d bolt head thickness 2 d by 3 nut nut thickness 7 d by 8 bolt length and thread length it is depends on the assembly drawing so for that we will decide during the drawing and it is assumption so that's why i didn't wrote here and similarly a hexagonal headed cap screw it is a m14 so i wrote here blue by blue color 14 Major diameter is 14, minor diameter is 11.9 by calculation. W will be 21, bolt head thickness is 9. So let's start. So we'll start by using the AutoCAD, start AutoCAD template, name plot style ISO. And first, as I told you, the model, this is a grid on off snap setting snap setting snap setting grid polar tracking and it should be select all if you did it last time it will be remain same and this is a uh, orthogonal on off so whenever i need make it on and off during time now this is a line color this is bilayer thickness and this is line type so others and load the central line and hidden line i need this always anytime and hidden line h hidden h type hit h will get hidden okay type c will get center and okay and now dimension style next is a zoom command z enter a enter always and dimension style dim sty style and iso 25 modify it and uh, select lines so extend beyond line i will select here two that is good and here one and uh, base it is okay symbol and arrows so here i will make it three size here i will make it three and here i will make it two and break size so see this distance between the orange line and dimension line that is increase and that will be differentiated between that and then text is three and offset text from the dimension line i will make it one one milli so this distance between text and dimension line will be increased okay close okay so this is our origin x and y so i will draw a line any line near about 200 millimeters see i need a ortho on so i will click ortho so i need to a horizontal line and i will make it around 200 
okay so it is not important and i will make the x axis uh, that is axis and now i will make the one line uh, which is uh, l bracket i will draw the l bracket uh, about this line and around a hundred length i will trim it later on with a hundred okay so i'm going to draw this el now so total length is the center line is about 65 and then this 50 so i will offset this 50 and one center line that is about 65 below so this line i will offset 65 below 65 enter and this enter okay and this line is this line is 50 so offset 50 enter this line here okay then from here to here this length from this point to this point how much length so this is a el 100 means height is 100 75 is from this point to here that is a width and 10 is thickness okay so 100 i will offset this line 100 up so click on offset 100 enter this line up so here i don't need this trim line i will trim it trim yes and this also now this line i will make it offset 32 as per given here so so offset 32 enter this line up and this line down okay and then trim this just i am drawing a l uh, given assembly as it is okay so then i will offset this line 10 thickness of l section it is given as 10 enter here and this line here and this line up now i will join this enter enter now here is a fillet and here is a fillet here is fillet so first i will draw the base And uh, so even uh, I need to offset this line. Okay, the thickness. <clears throat> so this line, this line is, this line is 100, uh, 75. So I will offset this line 75 here. So click on offset and uh, 75 enter and here and uh, i will make this line down here escape now this is uh, 100 from here to here it is 75 65 yeah this is 10 it is correct now just i will extend this line so click on extend and click here just only and this i will trim it trim okay so you can do it later now 60 this line i will offset it 60. so click on offset 60 or 65 let it confirm enter 
this line down okay and then I will trim it just this now I will offset this line <clears throat> and 200 here 200 so click it here offset 200 enter this line here so we'll trim it now okay very easy now I need to make the fillet and it is given somewhere the fillet yeah, R10 so you will use our fillet radius is R10 so you will use the command fillet <clears throat> so this is here fillet chamfer and blend so I will use the fillet and here I need to change the radius okay so first I need to write because the radius is by default is 0 every year so I will change radius type R hit and then write the radius 10 enter and then select the corner yes to repeat command enter to repeat command enter to repeat command enter so here i because it is trim and now i will make it line here enter and now fillet already radius is there no need to enter now yeah you changed before yes and one more here check whether at the base is there a fillet or not yeah not here okay <clears throat> now this is the ready and uh, this line it was not there so i will delete it yeah this is the ready now now i need to draw this is a center line so select this and make it a center line so i will draw a one vertical line here and now here i need to draw a stud <clears throat> stud and two washers and two nuts on that so the size of that stud is m16 m16 so i will draw the nut m16 and the thickness of the nut will be uh, as calculated here so as per 16 w is 24 so diameter is 12 so i will draw the circle with the diameter 12 circle and here center and radius is 12 and now i will draw the hexagon now there is a hexagon polygon polygon number of sides six enter select the center here and circumscribe because outside and if you make this this will be very easy but it's not so easy so you need to make the corner on vertical like last and here so there are two options depends on the view and direction so i put the corner vertical or you can even put this vertical then it will be easy so both are same time consuming okay now i need to i need to draw i need to project and i need to draw the nuts so i will make the bilayer okay and ortho on and draw the construction line that is also a projections so each corner i need to project horizontally last lab exercise vertically so sometimes it will become like this it will be jump so you have to zoom it and then the point see again moving so i will zoom it and i will draw the point here enter it will not move now the point will not jump up yes now down enter because snap setting is on so point will be take nearest because we selected all 
so this is about about the nut now i need to draw the nut before that i need to insert the washer so we should know the washer dimensions and i google it and i found the washer dimensions as it is so this is a outside diameter is always two times d and inside diameter is d plus one and thickness is 0.2 d so we'll calculate for our 16 if 16 means this is 33 33 that is 16 plus 1 then this will be double uh, d no this is 17 this is 17 and this is 33 uh, 32 32 or 33 no problem and this is uh, 0.2 means 16 into 3.2 3.2 okay so let's draw the washer two washers with a side view so we need to offset the vertical line 3.2 and 16 up and 16 down so here i will draw the washer so i will offset this 3.2 as a thickness offset 3.2 or 3 doesn't matter and click this side and here there is a small line mm, okay i will offset this central line up 16 16 into 16 32 so offset 16 enter this side and this line this side so this is thickness of washer so i will select washer is for this line only yes and this the washer is formed by this line so i will select this and click trim and this i don't want this uh, this keep it here this I don't want this and this and this is a original so this is a washer so this line oh I forget to cut it here so this line should be cut from this so trim and click the part you don't want now this should be a bilayer line it is showing as but here it is showing bilayer this is a washer same way I can draw here I will make it mirror so now on this yellow lines we have the nut thickness so nut thickness I need to calculate for 16 so nut thickness a bolt here sorry nut thickness 70 by 8 14 means 7 up 7 down uh, sorry 14 offset to right so this line I need to offset 14 so click on offset that is a third nut thickness 14 enter this line here so your nut lies your nut is in between this and this yellow lines so I will select this and trim the part I don't want yeah that yellow line also you know and I'll just click like this and uh, from washer here to here say from here to here this is your nut now uh, this again forget here so no problem one more here now this is a bilayer color is bilayer On this side you, your cursor should be this side then it will be selected okay so I will draw the chamfer click on chamfer and from here 30 degree with vertical so I need to make it ortho on 
so ortho off now click on color by layer and click on line so click it here or click it here and this angle 90 plus 30 120 so at the rate 10 length angle angle is 120 10 any you can do because we are going to trim it so 120 yes 120 means 90 plus 30 so this should be 30 angle and it is true so trim this part and now i will draw the line from this point and now are thrown because i need a vertical line and here enter and again here i need escape now i need to break these two lines so that i can draw the arc between the edges from this corner and this corner so i need to break this line here and here so click on break select this line and click on break break and click it here see it is break and now similarly repeat command enter select this line Ihana. see it is break again repeat command enter this line here repeat comma command this line here so that i will get the mid and end points for arc so your arc there are so many options i know the three points starting point mid and end point of the three lines so click on the arc and select it this is a first point and go on this line this is a mid point for this line and this is end point repeat command enter and go up with the midpoint here is a midpoint and end point is here repeat arc again right click or enter click it here go up yes this triangle is midpoint and this is a end point color stream this part and this part here this part and this part now nut and washer is finish now I will make the mirror. I will make this mirror hole about the center of this two line. So these two points, there is a center mirror line. So select this and select this means hole washer and nut I selected. And now I will click on mirror and specify the first point on the mirror line. So mirror line is mid of this. And do you want to delete? No. Class exit command. So this is about two nuts with washer. Yeah, I forget to select this line and here it is not showing. So dimensions are there, just click line and no need to repeat the command again. Now I need to draw a stud. Actually, studies kept first and then washer and then nuts are tightened on that. So it doesn't matter. This is a virtual drawing. So I will draw the stud of M16. So I will draw the circle with a 8 radius because 16. So I will enter 8 and enter. And now I will project this. And this is a major diameter. And I will draw another circle with a minor diameter. And for 16, what is the minor diameter? A minor diameter is 13.6. So I'll draw another circle for minor diameter. So circle and half of 13.6 is difficult to calculate. So I will type D and I will enter 13.6 as a diameter. 13.6. Enter. That's why first I entered the diameter DA. Now if you want, you can check it. The diameter for this is 16. And for minor diameter is 13.6. We are correct now. Now just no need of these dimensions. So change the color line. And draw the construction lines from these two circles so i will zoom it so that line will not will be a straight 
enter orthon is there already enter enter and enter so this is a stud okay so stud length is not given so i will just keep it little outside the nut so change the color line and draw the line just outside hana 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 no problem just like this enter and now here i will draw the thread representation so this is a thread internal and external thread and inside this okay no problem now mm. okay so i will trim this yellow line um, before that i will select this and this and this also and then click trim it is important why you will understand because this whole line will be get deleted yes okay now here we need to draw a chamfer and the angle is 45 or you can use the command at the rate or you can use the chamfer it is rest to you up to you so you have the distance so i will make it chamfer modify uh, sorry here is a fillet and here is chamfer and uh, angle angle type a enter specify the chamfer length from this point to this point enter the angle is 45 enter and now select the line yes. to repeat command enter now it is already distance is there and and now i will draw the line from this so this is a thread starting from here okay and then thread run out so thread run out i will assume thread up to here okay so you can't um, assume the smallest uh, smallest length why because threading cost is too much so no need to uh, increase the threading threading length which will increase the manufacturing cost so here you can assume assume minimum so and i will draw the line from this point as a thread run out angle i told you already with this 30 angle with this okay in uh, vertical position it was with vertical now it is horizontal so i will take this angle 30 so at the rate an angle 150 150 plus 30 180 150 so this and now i will trim that and this also and this also and same i will draw the line here this is called a thread run out and this enter now thread is no more there so i will trim this thread line yes now here also inside you can't see this yellow line but we are going to draw the sectional view so sectional view it will be clear but nut and shafts are never cut so we'll keep this now from this point under washer and this i will delete the i will delete the yellow line okay so trim trim only inside yellow line yes so in bolt and nut it will be not there and here it will be a 
section then we need that and we need to keep this also now this is about then I will make it okay so this I will select this and this and this and this as a bilayer line and this part now this line I need to cut it okay no problem we will draw this and inside part this inside part this part I will make it mirror okay and then then we will see mirror about the center line mirror is here delete enter no see here this line I will delete it now it is throughout this line I will delete it and this line I need to trim it this line I need to trim it from here with this line and here there is no so select trim cut on this part So this is our most finished part. Now, oh, there is a thread run out is missing, so I can draw by the length I already have here. Enter, enter. Repeat command. Enter, enter. Here, enter. Yeah, that I didn't select it. Now it is okay. So this is finished now. Now we'll go back, we will draw here the cap screw. So generally now I have this line and uh, this line, okay. I will take the mid line and I will draw the line here. So click on line and select here the midpoint and draw here up to make it orthon. And make it here because I need to draw a hexagon again here and uh, one more horizontal line enter and now another hexagon so I need to see the dimensions m14 hexagonal head screw cap screw so I need to draw here again same so 14 and W is 21 so I will draw the circle first 21 and then a blind hole 10 mm and 45 depth so this line i will offset it 45 as per the depth uh, yes 45 enter and this side okay. now i will draw the circle a hexagonal m14 so w is w is w is 21 so half of 21 is 10.5 enter now the blind hole of 10 so i will draw the phi so this is a blind hole and now this is for a hexagonal so I need to draw a hexagon inside this outside this circle so click on hexagon already side is 6 click center here or uh, enter 6 enter select center here and circumscribe outside and make the corner on the vertical line here or enter the dimension now this is a hole 
of 10 and then I will insert the screw inside so we need to project again same procedure so for 14 what is the bolt head thickness so it is a bolt head now bolt and this is nut for stud we use nut now here I, I do, we didn't use 10.67 we use 14 now I need to use for bolt headed thickness 9.34 so I will use this line up offset 9.34 enter and up so this is the thickness of the head hexagonal head so I need to project this hexagon and I need to draw a head there so make the color line yellow and ortho on is there and click the construction line and uh, this point up enter enter 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 this point up enter exit now now this head is in between there is no washer now this head is in between these two lines and all yellow lines so i will select that and i will cut the other parts see here and here and here and here and this is and this is so this is a head this line will be bilayer now this is a bolt head now same procedure i need to draw a 30 angle chamfer so click line ortho off and from this line 30 degrees so at the rate any length angle minus 30 anti-clockwise minus 30 enter okay. now i need to draw the bilayer line line from this point to vertical horizontal control z now i will draw a single i need to no need to break See, this is very good practice make man perfect now just i will break this line because i draw this offset it is offsetted line so select this and break this line Hannah, enter again select this line and break it here See, this is a separate line now now i will draw the arc three point arc click here select first point the mid of this yes and this is the end point right click repeat arc this and mid 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 of this line and end point this repeat arc here the mid of this line and here okay so one more line i miss see here and use the trim command to delete that part unnecessarily part this is a head and there was no washer mention and now screw th is 45 so i offset this 45 and i need to insert the screw so i need to drill the hole of 10 milli which is which should be more than 45 between this distance it should be more than this distance so i will offset this line five one side another five other side and distance five enter this side and this side now the hole i will make it at up to any point so i will make it here this is the hole and now i will select this line and this line and these three lines and trim yes i don't want this hole see there is a circle yeah this circle for that hole now this is a hole 
and here is the screw threads so what is the size of the screw m14 means seven this side seven this side the major diameter offset seven enter this line here and this line here and minor dia see now the minor dia is 11.9 okay so 11.9 so what is the half of 11.9 it is difficult so i will make the circle circle this is a center and d diameter enter 11.9 enter so i got this this and now this circle is for hole i will delete it no need because i have set it 5 5 it was simple now same way i will draw the line yellow line and projection oh, sorry this also possible from here see it ortho of and uh, yellow line up to here enter enter again from this point go up up to here third part oh sorry control chair vertical l yes now this yellow line for so this uh, okay now i will use trim command and i will cut this part trim this i don't want this is a thread this is a major diameter minor diameter minor diameter major and where is up there is no up okay so hole now hole because if you insert the screw this hole will become bigger up to the screw length so i will trim this and inside sorry trim and inside there will be no use of hole because screw is inside and it makes the hole bigger by the thread so this is a hole now no need it's gone out so this is a major diameter and minor diameter this yellow line also it will be turned to bilayer and again draw the chamfer here chamfer what is the length so now i need to angle i need to insert the length and angle so i will put the angle a you will ask the chamfer length from this to this and angle 45 enter and select these two corners yes repeat command enter the data is inside there and select this so i will draw the horizontal line from here to here and this should be a bilayer i didn't did bilayer okay now this hole is done by the drill bit this hole is done by the drill bit and you will not get the end surface flat surface so there will be a triangle so this angle is made 30 degree with horizontal 30 degree with horizontal means 180 minus 60 120 so i will draw the line from this point and ortho of like this 30 and here 30 from here so now we are i connected minus 30 so this 30 and this will be 60 60 correct so at the rate and angle minus 30 yes and escape now again i didn't change bilayer so select this line and make it bilayer escape and draw the line from this point to this point so this thread angle is 120 and this line is a center line i will make it little up now 
and this will be a center line similarly i can copy this or i can make it mirror so select this select this and uh, if you want this no need and click on mirror mirror and this is a center line and this is here enter no okay now it is a sectional view so i need to make the section so in theory class i will explain this and uh, thread fastener assembly you can see yes how the sectioning is done okay so how the sectioning is done you can see here we need to for internal we need to hatch from outside see here this is hatching line hatching lines how it is hatched this is another material another material another material another material so we need to draw a different hatch but these are all cast irons so we need to change uh, the uh, angles so it, it should be like this drawing so we can make the hatching accordingly so click on hatch hatch select inside select here select here select here select here see the all boundaries taken select here select here class and here one more select here and select here so now as per the part we need to edit the hatch so it was very simple and now i will check the hatch so this two l angles are same so i will keep the hatch same for l angle and base and this i will keep the same so select this and select oh it is completely selecting so it is difficult now so i need to make this i need to delete this delete see everything is deleted so i will make it hatch this this and angle and angle and angle and this this is for real angle so now i will change it this is a single hatch right click properties or you can select from here or you can select from here so better where whatever you think now i will go to the nc yes it's look good here also you can click it's look good no need to change another properties because i i this is my third drawing and we put the and it is the properties are carry over there and now there is another hatch here and here so i will make the hatch this and uh, mm, this part one more part and this also and this also and this also i think escape control z uh, make it hatch spark is different it is like a bearing and hatch this base plate is different so i will little change now i need to change the angle of this i will make the opposite angle uh, or here i can select already it is if you click there it will come here this is nc okay and bilayer none pattern and angle angle i will make it here now 45 90 means opposite yes correct and scale if you want you can make it 0.8 seems look dense 
that's good and this I will make it angle uh, 90 and I will make it 1.2 1.2 enter mm -hmm. 1 1.2 yes little course it's finish is remaining this stud will not be seen inside see her drawing in the nut this stud will not be seen so i need to delete that part so this will create some yes and this and if you cut the nut also nut also no, that line will be there means I mean this line on the curve end see this line is for corner edge this corner yes it should be there so same here yeah it is already there inside there is only one line that's done plus view the dimensions and save so some of the major dimensions I will not give it here again so Sixty. I will change the color, and delete, and make the by layer, and give the commands. I will not give all the summer commands. What are the dimensions are given there? That is the important dimensions. Sixty. Then what is the distance between the center, this and uh, this line? I need to mention here. And then do it whatever one maximum i i need a 10 uh, 10 dimensions and just save it and then if you want to print it if you want to print and make a pdf file what i did here okay so give the dimension and then click on print this is very important click on plot or print and now name no need or you can create it and save it later on you can save this also no problem printer select if you want don't want hard copy you can select a microsoft printer to pdf okay and this paper size is a4 okay display click here and select window select this window only what is the visible this much only okay now click on center to plot it will become under the center and this is a landscape and see the preview yes i want to yeah this is little up so exit and i will go back again and see window window and select the window from here and here like this okay and now keep it center and preview yeah it's look good exit and uh, before that apply to layout and it will come there and okay okay so before saving i can write my id here text right here and write your id 3660 enter enter and then escape yes this is your id here you can make the test size change and if you want to text size right click m edit text and the size is mm, 2.5 you can make it 3 or 3.5 depends on escape yes so now i can see plot and here it was not a previous plot windows and see preview here oh, I didn't select windows 
so windows click it here and it was not shown here see here okay and preview yes good it is the ID is there and everything is there exit and say okay and save as yes 3.1 and here we will close this and upload this drawing save this drawing and uh, upload this drawing on this is 3.1 so where is back back uh, no desktop google drive 2005 and this is 3.1 lab exercise save just replace it and now we'll close it yeah it's closed and you can see your drawing pdf drawing and where i save it today date modified yeah, 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 yeah. and uh, that i saved with a pdf file it is in document One. Okay, class. Uh, upload the PDF file. Uh, PDF file and the uh, AutoCAD file. I will create on the activity on Blackboard, and uh, you need to upload there before your end of the lab. Okay, so now we'll close here. And during the lab, the dimension will be different and you need to draw within three hours and whatever you did, you need to upload on the blackboard. So we'll stop.